What if I told you an object traveled two million years across space, aimed directly at our solar system, carrying signals from a distant Earth-like world, and it's been watching us this whole time? Stick around, because what we found will absolutely blow your mind. For six straight weeks, the research teams pushed their supercomputers to the edge, rewinding the journey of 3i Atlas step by step through the deep currents of galactic space, and what they uncovered was not speculation, not guesswork, but the kind of cold, unambiguous truth that leaves even veteran astronomers staring at their monitors in silence. If you're captivated by the mystery of 3i Atlas and want to see more mind-bending cosmic stories, smash that like button and let the universe know you are. Watching every click helps keep the search for the unknown alive. They began with the object's present position and its velocity vector, the faint whisper of its motion etched into the void. Then they force time to run backward, letting the simulations peel away the layers of cosmic drift, stellar pull, and galactic rotation. Every gravitational influence from every nearby star was reconstructed, not roughly, but with astonishing precision, until the path of 3i Atlas was laid bare like a scar across the galaxy. And here's what stunned them, three separate analytical teams working with entirely different methods, entirely different models, and entirely different assumptions all arrived at the same point of origin. Not something approximate, not something vague, the same star, star system, the same region, the same solution emerging again and again like a message encoded in, in the motion itself. You know, the convergence was impossible to ignore. It meant that 3i Atlas did not wander here by accident. It came from somewhere specific. It followed a path so deliberate, so mathematically clean, that every alternative explanation shattered the moment the data lined up. You know, this was the first hint, the first crack in the illusion that we were observing a natural traveler. The moment we realized something had set this object on its way long before our species even learned to spark fire. When we followed the path of 3i Atlas back through the dark stretches of interstellar space, every calculation, every simulation, every independent model kept pointing us toward the same unsettling truth. This object did not drift into our system as a wandering fragment of cosmic debris. It came from a place so familiar, so impossibly close in stellar terms, that it forced us to rethink everything we thought we understood about the quiet neighborhood around our own sun. You know, the trajectory led straight toward a star so eerily similar to ours that if you stood beneath its light, you might not even notice the difference, a warm golden glow, a near twin to the star that rises above our own world, and orbiting that star, a collection of planets, but one of them stands out, not because of its size or its orbit, but because its atmosphere whispers the unmistakable chemical signatures of life, water vapor, oxygen, methane, the faint breath of a living world. You know? And that is where 3i Atlas began its journey, not at a random point in a cold void, but a system that mirrors our own so closely that the similarity feels deliberate, almost intentional, a planet in the gentle cradle of its star's habitable zone, carrying the spectral fingerprints of oceans, forests, or something even more complex, something alive. No, when that revelation hit, a silence fell over the entire team, not because we were afraid, not yet, but because we understood what it meant. If 3i Atlas came from a world like that, then the line between us and whatever launched it is thinner than we ever dared imagine. This wasn't the story of a stray object wandering the stars. This was the beginning of a message, a decision, a purpose set in motion long before our species even learned to walk upright on the soil of our own planet. You know, and for the first time we had to confront a possibility we were never prepared to face. 3i Atlas did not just come from somewhere, it came from someone, you know, once we understood the place 3i Atlas came from, the next realization hit even harder.
Because the object's motion through space, the way it threaded its way across the galactic tides, was not the chaotic wander of a natural traveler. It followed a line, a path so precise that the universe itself would struggle to produce it by accident. You know? Natural ejections fling objects into the cosmos with wild unpredictability. They tumble out of their home systems with the kind of randomness you expect from violent gravitational battles. But 3i Atlas showed none of that chaos. Its approach toward our world was steady, measured, almost graceful, as if every mile of its journey had been accounted for before it ever left that distant star. And then came the most unsettling part, the velocity, not too fast, not too slow, not the speed of a rock hurled into the void, and not the blazing rush of a craft at full drive. It moved with exactly the momentum needed to carry it across that immense gulf of empty space over a span of roughly two million years and then simply glide into the outskirts of our solar system with perfect timing. Imagine the precision required to plan that, to predict where our system would be after such an unimaginable stretch of time, to account for the drift of stars, the rotation of the galaxy, the shifting of gravitational tides that shape the motion of entire worlds, that level of foresight is almost beyond comprehension. Right? So, and yet 3i Atlas hit its mark and was that truth sank in. Something else emerged from the data. This wasn't a mission launched at random. It wasn't a stray explorer drifting without purpose. It was a calculated shot across the cosmic ocean aimed directly at the faint pale star we call Homelong, before humans even existed as the creatures we know today. And in that moment, an unspoken question spread through every researcher in the room, not spoken aloud, not written anywhere, but felt collectively like a chill running through the air. You know, who plans a mission that takes millions of years to arrive? Okay. Who has the patience to wait for a world that does not yet know fire, let alone science? And who sets something like 3i Atlas on a path that leads straight to us? And why? You know, what truly shattered our sense of safety wasn't just the precision of the journey. It was what 3i Atlas began doing once it came within reach of our instruments. After drifting silently through the darkness for a span of time longer than the entire history of our species, the object woke up. You know, its deceleration was the first sign, a subtle slowing, far too controlled to be natural, then a shift in trajectory, gentle but deliberate, guiding it deeper into our system instead of letting it pass through and vanish into the distance. It was as if 3i Atlas had been asleep for ages, conserving energy, waiting for something, and that something was us, you know, because the timing wasn't a coincidence, the adjustments began only after humanity developed the means to notice them, after we filled our skies with radio telescopes, after we learned how to watch the heavens with precision. It was almost as if 3i Atlas had been observing us quietly, patiently as it approached, waiting for the moment when we were finally capable of recognizing what it was doing, you know. The first faint transmissions it emitted were strange, rhythmic, repeating in perfect intervals, not noise, not static, a structure, a message, a signal meant to be noticed by whatever mind existed in this system capable of interpreting it, and that alone forced us to confront the unthinkable three atlas didn't just arrive. It announced itself. Every scientist who looked at the data felt the same uneasy tightening in their chest, this object wasn't behaving like debris or a rogue interstellar wanderer. It was acting like something with intent, with purpose something, following instructions written long before our species understood language. You know? And as the signal continued to pulse through the void, a realization settled in, heavy as gravity itself. You know, whatever created 3i Atlas didn't just know our world existed. They expected us to be here, they expected us to be listening, they expected us to be ready, you know. And now, as the object drifts ever closer, its transmissions growing more intricate, we are left with a question we have no answer for, you know. What happens when something ancient, intelligent, 
and unimaginably advanced decides its long journey is finally over? As we continued tracking 3i Atlas, another layer of the mystery began to unfold one far more profound than its origin or its sudden awakening. Because the signal it transmitted, the one pulsing through the void like a heartbeat, wasn't random. It carried structure, patterns, layers of encoding folded within one another like a message designed for minds capable of peeling back its complexity step by step, you know? At first, we identified the mathematical skeleton of the signal, ratios, primes, harmonies that no natural astrophysical source would ever produce. But beneath that outer structure lay deeper patterns, strange arrangements we still haven't fully deciphered, almost as if the probe anticipated the limits of our understanding and built its message accordingly, leaving hints for us to follow, but not enough for reckless interpretation, it felt less like communication and more like a test. You know, and, and while we struggled with the signal, 3i Atlas continued all. The adjustments were small, but undeniably intentional, maintaining a trajectory that kept it near our world. Refusing to let itself drift out of reach, it was no longer a visitor passing by, it was choosing to stay, you know. Some researchers began whispering a name for it, a concept from a long abandoned theory, a silent emissary, an ancient watcher, a patient machine sent not to speak immediately, but to wait until the civilization it sought was finally capable of receiving its message, a cosmic ambassador operating on timelines so vast they made human history feel like a flicker in the dark, but not everyone saw it as an ambassador, you know. There were others quiet at first, then louder, who saw danger in the precision, in the silence, in the timing that aligned so perfectly with our rise to technological awareness. They reminded us of something we often forget. Intelligence does not guarantee compassion, and purpose does not require goodwill. Whatever launched 3i Atlas had mastered physics and engineering so far beyond us that its goals, its values, its way of thinking might be utterly incomprehensible. Huh? And as that debate grew, another realization crept into the room like a cold draft none of us wanted to acknowledge. You know? 3i Atlas might not just be studying us, and it might be judging us, you know, evaluating what we become, you know, determining what we might become next, you know? And as its signal continued to pulse, measured, patient, deliberate, we found ourselves asking a question. Humanity's never had to ask before, you know, what if the first message we ever received from beyond our world isn't a... For the next few hours, every station around the globe scrambled to reacquire the signal, antennas realigned, systems rebooted, backup race kicked in, nothing... It was as if 3i Atlas had slipped into a shadow the universe itself didn't want us to see. You know? But then something strange happened. When the data finally began trickling back in, it wasn't what NASA expected. There were no positional updates, no speed readings, no spectrographic signatures. Instead, the system showed a single repeating spike. You know, a rhythm, not random, not natural. And it pulsed steadily almost like a heartbeat tapping across deep space. Scientists tried to dismiss it as interference, but the pattern was too clean, too deliberate, each pulse separated by the exact same interval, down to a level of precision only engineered systems could achieve. You know, and the source? It wasn't coming from 3i Atlas anymore. No, it was coming from somewhere behind it. You know? uh, a region of sky previously empty, a region where no known object had ever been charted. Right? Suddenly, the idea that 3i Atlas was just a drifting fragment didn't make sense anymore. No. What if it wasn't the arrival? What if it was the signal flare marker guiding something else directly toward us? Oh! Astronomers stared at the new readings in disbelief. That empty patch of sky, the one that had shown nothing for decades, was now alive with motion. Not bright, not chaotic, 
but structured like something was unfolding out of darkness itself. You know, infrared sensors picked up faint geometric lines, perfectly straight, perfectly aligned, as if a massive shape were emerging from behind a cosmic curtain, whatever it was, it dwarfed three eye atlas completely. You know, the pulse continued, a steady, a cold, a calculated. When the signal from three eye atlas briefly flickered back, analysts compared the patterns side by side. That's when they noticed it. The smaller object wasn't sending out a message. It was responding, you know, call and reply, you know. Two distinct sources, you know, two distinct rhythms intertwining like a coded conversation. You know, somewhere within NASA's control room, someone finally whispered what everyone else was too afraid to say. You know, this isn't an object drifting through space. This is a coordinated formation, you know? you know? And if that was true, then the larger structure behind 3i Atlas wasn't just following it. You know, it was with it moving in sync, hidden until the exact moment it wanted to be seen. You know, the question wasn't where it came from anymore. You know, it, the question was why it was coming now, you know? And that's when the full weight of reality hit. Two million years of planning, two million years of coasting silently through the void, and now, at the exact moment, humanity had grown just enough to notice everything changed. Go you know, at three. I, 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 Atlas was not a lone traveler. It was the advanced scout of something far larger, far older, far more intelligent than we had ever imagined. The precision of its journey, the deliberate timing of its signals, the sudden appearance of the structure behind it, it was all too intentional to be coincidence. You know, we had to face the terrifying truth. We are being observed, evaluated, monitored by a mind capable of thinking on timescales that make dot. Our civilizations feel like flickers of light in the dark, and yet, even as fear rippled through every team, there was a sliver of awe. This was not just a threat. This was the first undeniable proof that intelligence exists beyond our world. A civilization that thinks in millions of years that can manipulate matter and energy on scales, we cannot yet comprehend. You know, we have never faced anything like this. We are unprepared. We are vulnerable. And yet, we are now part of a story that has been unfolding long before humans walk the earth. You know? 3i Atlas is here, the signal pulses through the cosmos, the larger formation moves deliberately behind it, and humanity stands on the threshold, forced to decide how to respond to the presence of something older, smarter, and infinitely more powerful than ourselves. You know, there is no turning back. You know, there is no pretending we are alone. You know, the universe has finally spoken, and it is terrifying. You know, don't stop here. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of space.